The purpose of the human soul is to experience all of it so that it can be all of it. How can it be up if it has never been down? Left if it has never been right? How can it be warm if it knows not cold? Good if it denies evil? Obviously, the soul cannot choose to be anything if there's nothing to choose from. For the soul to experience its grandeur, it must know what grandeur is. This it cannot do if there's nothing but grandeur. And so the soul realizes that grandeur only exists in the space of that which is not grand. The soul, therefore, never condemns that which is not grand, but blesses seeing in it a part of itself which must exist for another part of itself to manifest. The job of the soul, of course, is to cause us to choose the grandeur, to select the best of who you are without condemning that which you do not select. This is a big task, taking many lifetimes, for you are wont to rush to judgment, to call a thing wrong or bad or not enough, rather than to bless what you do not choose. You do worse than condemn. You actually seek to do harm to that which you do not choose. You seek to destroy it. If there is a person, place, a thing with which you do not agree, you attack it. If there is a religion that goes against yours, you make it wrong. If there is a thought that contradicts yours, you ridicule it. If there is an idea other than yours, you reject it. In this you err, for you create only half a universe. And you cannot even understand your half when you have rejected out of hand the other. Well, this is all very profound, and I thank you. No one has ever said these things to me, at least not with such simplicity. And I am trying to understand, really I am. Yet some of this, some of this is difficult to grapple with. You seem to be saying, for instance, that we should love the wrong so that we can know the right. Are you saying we must embrace the devil, so to speak? How else do you heal him? Of course, a real devil does not exist. But I reply to you in the idiom you choose. Healing is the process of accepting all and choosing best. Do you understand that? You cannot choose to be God if there's nothing else to choose from. Whoops. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Who said anything about choosing to be God? The highest feeling is perfect love, is it not? Yes, I should think so. Can you find a better description of God? No, no, I can't. Well, your soul seeks the highest feeling. It seeks to experience, to be, perfect love. It is perfect love, and it knows this. Yet it wishes to do more than know it. It wishes to be it in its experience. Of course, you are seeking to be God. What else did you think you were up to? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess I just never thought of it that way. There just seems to be something vaguely blasphemous about that. Isn't it interesting that you find nothing blasphemous about seeking to be like the devil, but seeking to be like God offends you? What? Now, wait Now wait a minute. Who is seeking to be like the devil? You are. You all are. You've even created religions that tell you that you are born in sin, that you are sinners at birth, in order to convince yourselves of your own evil. Yet if I told you you are born of God, that you are pure gods and goddesses at birth, pure love, you would reject me. All your life you have spent convincing yourself that you are bad, not only that you are bad, but that the things you want are bad. Sex is bad, money is bad, joy is bad, power is bad, having a lot is bad, a lot of anything. Some of your religions have even got you believing that dancing is bad, music is bad, celebrating life is bad. Soon you'll agree that smiling is bad, laughing is bad, loving is bad. No, 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 my friend. You may not be very clear about many things, but about one thing you are clear. You and most of what you desire are bad. Having made this judgment about yourself, you have decided that your job is to get better. It's okay, mind you. It's the same destination in any event. It's just that there's a faster way, a shorter route a quicker path. Which is? Acceptance of who and what you are right now and demonstration of that. This is what Jesus did. It is the path of the Buddha, the way of Krishna. The walk of every master who has appeared on the planet. And every master has likewise had the same message. What I am, you are. 
what I can do, you can do. These things and more shall you also do. Yet you have not listened. You have chosen instead the far more difficult path of one who thinks he is the devil, one who imagines he is evil. You say it is difficult to walk the path of Christ, to follow the teachings of the Buddha, to hold the light of Krishna, to be a master. Yet I tell you this, it is far more difficult to deny who you are than to accept it. You are goodness and mercy and compassion and understanding. You are peace and joy and light. You are forgiveness and patience, strength and courage, a helper in time of need, a comforter in time of sorrow, a healer in time of injury, a teacher in times of confusion. You are the deepest wisdom and the highest truth, the greatest peace and the grandest love. You are these things, and in moments of your life, you have known yourself as these things. Choose now to know yourself as these things always. <laughs> 